I'm Eric, and at Random Golf Club, we're here to make golf a club for everyone. One of the ways we do that is with the videos on this channel, and for all the others, go to randomgolfclub.com to check it out. So we're here at the Shire with Rick. How do you feel, Rick? I'm excited because a lot of people behind us, we're gonna go on the golf course and do the biggest ever random golf club. Have you ever played golf with 100 people? I have never played golf with 100 people. This is actually 130, and we've got some exciting things going on. The one thing we've never done before is we're gonna have a closest to the pin competition with 130 people on the same hole. So everyone's gonna tee off. The 20 shots that go closest to the hole are gonna go through to the next round. We're then gonna do it on another par three where the closest five go through to the finale. The player out of those five who hits it close to the hole is gonna win $250 or pounds to the Random Golf Club shop. And if anybody makes a number one, they're gonna get $1,000 from this man and $1,000 from this man, as long as we can make a YouTube video about it. Are you guys ready? This is gonna be fun. I like that someone's playing music, that's good. Is Ace Cam live? Ace Cam's always live. Good shot. Go. This is fun. I've never, I've never done it with the competition. It like makes it more interesting for sure. Let me know when you count me down, right? Oh, sorry, we're going exactly the same. Yeah. Time. <laughs> I'm, I've been ready for like a minute. <laughs> no. Mashed potatoes! Just short. Oh. Short and long means that. <laughs> this is wild. Incredible. Like literally a hundred effectively strangers. Like we don't know each other. Are here whacking golf balls into his par three. Some brilliant shots. Some, uh, some not so, but it doesn't matter. Like, it's fun. <laughs> really impressed with this. Really enjoying it. Did you hit the green? I did, yeah. How do you feel about it? Thrilled. My heart's still pumping, though. It was pretty nerve wracking. Yeah, it's hard. All right, we got 21 balls on the green. A lot off the green. So all these players are gonna enter into the next par three. 20 players will be able to get taken down to five. Can I get some clearance? Is Carrie here? I would love to know what the next par three is like. I was uh, adrenaline made me hit the ball 10 yards longer than what I normally would do. So I hit 10 yards through the back, which people who watch the channel know that that's not, that's not unusual. I often hit my wedges way too long. <laughs> All right, so we have 21 balls on the green. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, one in five. It's like we knew that it was gonna be around 20. Oh yeah. Did you hit the green? I did not. I did not, too. <laughs> That's probably fine. When we get to the fourth hole, which is a little bit of a similarly challenging par three, it is. we're gonna take 20 down to five. Love it. All right, folks, welcome back to not the video. <laughs> this video wouldn't be possible without FanDuel. Thank you, FanDuel. You are the official betting operator of the PGA Tour. If you're an RGC member, you can go to FanDuel if it's legal in your state, which how many states is it legal in right now? We don't know. 18 or so. Just as many holes as there are in a good round of golf. Not a bad round. Sometimes it's more. Anyway, if it's legal in your state, hit up FanDuel and use the code RGC to get your no sweat first bet, which means that you're going to get $1,000 in free bets to make. I couldn't believe it. And you can hit up FanDuel because it's easy, it's secure, and they pay fast. Who's going to win the PGA Championship? Bet on them. Can Cam Smith play or what's happening? We don't even know who can play. Look, the world is, have you seen Stranger Things? We're currently in the upside down. I don't even know who's playing golf anymore on what tour, but you can bet on people using FanDuel. Code RGC gets you $1,000 in your no sweat first bet. And the, you mean the tour championship? The tour championship is going to be dope. <laughs> Get into it. 
All right, so we're back. The par three challenge closest to the pin continues. Yes. We have 20 players. We do, 21. 21. Yeah. Everyone who hit the green on the first hole is gonna hit again on this hole, and the top five are gonna go on to the finale. The grand final hole, where the chance to win some dosh in the shop and cash. All right, step right up. Okay. Gotta go. Gotta go. Oh. oh. Oh, that's really nice shot. Nice shot. Just easy peasy, right at the stick. Yeah, oh, that's good. That could come back down a little bit. Nice shot, dude. Thank you. So good. Oh, yeah. oh, hello. hello. Two balls. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh. Oh. This is tidy. This is going to be a tidy top five. Nice shot. Yeah. Oh, nice shot, too. Strike him. Go, 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 go. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Yeah. Nice shot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, where was this yesterday? Thank you, bud. Cheers. Some really good shots there. Like, ridiculous. I think uh, I'm a couple of feet away. I could be telling like complete lies, but who knows? Who knows? It's very nerve-wracking hitting in front of all these people, but also very fun. <laughs> you know? We've definitely got five very good shots, and we're going to measure them. I would say we've got five within eight feet. One foot. Yeah. All right. Look at that pitch mark. Is that you? That's me. Nice. One foot nine inches. Nice. Is that you? Yeah. Jeez. I need to send the photo to the boss. You do. You quickly take it now. Huh? Does your boss know you took off work? Yeah. Okay, good. Look and I are, this is a real collab here, you know? All right. Eight feet, one inch. Down Just go around like. Nine feet two inches. I just think it's these two next to you, right? Yeah. And then that's it. Twelve feet and twelve feet eight inches. So you have to be inside thirteen feet. I don't think that's gonna be inside. One, two, three, four, five. Right, so you guys are the finalists. The five that are closest. This is pretty exciting. Pretty impressive. Uh, Dan, play at Beaconsfield, about half hour from here. Yeah. And I'm really looking forward to this. Cannot wait. Okay, hi, I'm Tom, um, out of Clevedon, just Bristol way. Um, feeling quite nervous, to be fair, but um, yeah, let's give it a crack. Steve Gish from Newcastle, uh, slightly nervous, not gonna lie. Uh, should be a good shot. Uh, Will, uh, I'm from Shropshire, <laughs> and uh, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling good. So, uh, Lee Haverley from Cambridge, and uh, yeah, that's a win. Great. So we've got the golf ball of the five finalists, and we're here at the seventh hole of the Shire. Island Green, 125 yards to the flag. Definitely a chance for a hole in one. Now, how it's going to work, I'm going to pick a golf ball at random, and they are going to play their shot. The nearest to the pin wins dollar dollar, $250 for the random golf club shop. And if any of them get it in the hole, they win effectively $2,000. Crowd. Uh, surrounding the green, first one up is going to be Taylor made three. TW on the side. Oh, that's myself. <laughs> Good luck. All right, you guys ready? Yeah. He's got his ball on the tee. Let's have some noise on the green. Woo! Let's go. We're looking for a hole in one here. Needs to go. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. 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 Next one up is Titleist 2. I will not say what's written on the side. <laughs> Here we go. Whoa. All right. Rick wants more energy. Woo. I guess I can play. Yeah. I guess it's not that far down win. Oh no, that's a oh, no. 
However, up next, Titleist 4. This man has not missed a shot all day. He's had nine hole-in-ones in his career. Let's hope this is number 10. Come on. <laughs> so, come on, number 10 right now. Measuring tape. Oh, need the oh, measuring tape. Need the measuring tape. Right, stop shaking now. <laughs> <laughs> we need the tape measure. They're so close. Uh, I wasn't that nervous. I just didn't swing it good. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just not very good. Yeah. So yeah, no, it was it was nerve wracking. Now I've got to say, the heart was going a little bit. <laughs> it's looking really close. I'm kind of deflated now after all that intenseness on the tee, and I'm slowly starting to come back to the ground yeah. now. What, what was it like being on the tee? What, what, what was the feeling compared to? Nerves. Like shaking, proper shaking. I need a coffee. All right. Steve and Dan, I think we got to tape this off. We don't know. Al, you want to help me here? Let's see this. It, they're pretty close, honestly, from visually. Like on one hand, it looks like it's this one, on the other hand, it looks like that. What do you guys think it is? This one? All right. Uh, is this? OK, here we go. 43 feet, 5 inches. I'll take it. Feet from way inside. <laughs> 42 feet, 5 inches. One foot. Unbelievable. Come on, my ball. Dan the man. Congratulations, Dan. Thank you for playing, guys. That was Cheers, a lot of fun, man. man. What a that great day. What a great day. That was a lot of fun. One foot apart. <laughs> That's all it was. That was a one foot apart. Who won? Dan here. Cossy did. <laughs> Cossy did. <laughs> one foot. <laughs> okay, thanks, thanks to Kerry and the Shire, amazing facility. There's not many places that would let us do this. Well, that was fantastic. Thanks, everybody. First ever. This is a good direction for golf to be going in, definitely, because it's getting busier in this country since COVID. It's, it's got busier, um, and a lot more people have taken up golf. And I think this will just bring people. It's more relaxed. You know, because not everyone wants to wear golf shoes, golf trousers, the same old jumpers. People just want to turn up in jeans and trainers. And I think that's what golf is really. It's just, they say about, oh, we need to speed up play, not amateur golf, because part of it is enjoying with your friends and the whole thing. It's not just about hitting the ball, camaraderie. So that's what RGC brings to it as well.